Good evening. Thanks for joining us again tonight as we are going through a series we've entitled Lessons for the Lockdown. We are looking at the prison epistles of the Apostle Paul. As you know, the Apostle Paul was placed under house arrest by the Roman government for two years in Rome. Uh, he was given a stay-at-home order, if you will, and during that time he wrote four letters that we call the prison epistles. Uh, we're looking at these letters just to glean some practical applications for our current circumstances. And tonight we're going to be in Philippians chapter 4 again, and we're going to look at verses um, 11 to 13 this evening. Cameron, if you want to okay. read for us. Okay, here we go. Chapter 4 of Philippians 4, 11. I do not say this out of need, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I find myself. I know both how to make do with little, and I know how to make do with a lot. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being content. Whether well-fed or hungry, whether in abundance or in need, I am able to do all things through Him who strengthens me. I think this is a great passage for our current circumstances yes, that we absolutely. are in. Paul is talking about being content in mm -hmm. every circumstance, mm -hmm. no matter what your circumstances may be. Yeah. Uh, when I, he says, when I'm abased and when I abound, when things mm -hmm. are going well mm -hmm. and when things are not going so well. Paul is talking about contentment in every situation. Um, I think one of the things that stands out to me is that he says twice in these verses, I have learned contentment. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, for I have learned in whatever state I am, I am, I am to, to be content. Yeah. And contentment is not something that comes naturally to Absolutely us. Absolutely not. We, we lean towards anxiety. We learn towards worry. We learn towards criticism, Which right? That's what he why talked about in the previous don't section. be anxious. Yeah. <laughs> Give thanks in all things. Rejoice in the Lord. So yeah. here it is, like this idea about contentment. It's very linear, you know, yeah. rejoice in all the things. I'm doing something good for you and in you. And uh, don't, don't fret. Don't be anxious. Think on these things. And now here it is, like, Learn be to be content. That's right. In Learn every to be content. Situation. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Bringing, I'm asking you for contentment. So right, and it's easy to be content when things are going the way you want them to go. Mm -hmm. uh, but when things are not going the way you want them to go, and I think, you know, Paul here is talking about uh, his his material needs mm -hmm. or his physical needs. Um, but I think I think for us with our current circumstances, mm -hmm. where things just aren't the way we want them to mm -hmm. be, we want the you know we want them to go back to normal, uh, and we are. We've been asked to do something mm -hmm. uh, that is not what we prefer to do, mm -hmm. or you know, with the stay-at-home order and the social distancing, um, and to be content yeah. in this situation and not to be discontent or unhappy mm -hmm. in it. And again, Paul is this. Paul said, "This is something I've learned." That's right. I think that Paul is, you know, as we watch his ministry come into be to being and his interaction with God and the way he ministers, you can see that Paul looks at all of this as from God's hand. The bounty, the leanness, the ups, the downs, the 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 times when he was thriving in ministry, the times when he was being stoned because of his ministry. There are such extremes in Paul's ministry, and yet I I think it's because Paul really believed that whatever it was, you know, we just saw him say to live is Christ, to die is gain, and you know, if we are looking at things as all is from God's hand, mm -hmm. the bounty, the leanness. The gift of fellowship, the, 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 the limitation of social distancing and stay at home. If we can be like Paul and see things through God's, as a, as a way that God's trying to shape us. You remember, he who started a good work is faithful yeah. to finish the work, and he's creating a, a person, a new person. You know, we are regenerated in Christ, but he's also going to work to continuously renew us day by day by his Holy Spirit as we walk with him, and this is just part of the process. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. Uh, I think really the, the key verse here too is verse 13 where he says, I can do all mm -hmm. things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, you know, that's a verse that is often quoted. We, we like that verse, it's one of those verses that we like to quote, uh, but the context here is being content. Mm. When he's talking about, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Paul is talking about contentment yeah. in every circumstance, hmm. you know? It's challenging. Uh, which is not typically how we think of that verse when we apply that verse. But Paul's talking about just being content no mm -hmm. matter what is going on. 
uh, in your life, to be content in it. Um, and he says that I can, I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. It's through Jesus Christ who strengthens mm -hmm. us. You know, so it's, go ahead. Yeah. Well, you back up. It's like, here's Jesus. If you let God, Jesus strengthen you, that's going to lead to contentment, right? Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So you, if we let Jesus strengthen us, if we, if we focus on him, we dwell on him like last mm -hmm. time, think on these things, meditate on these things, dwell on these things, that's going to lead to strength. Mm -hmm. And that strength will for, will manifest itself, but in contentment, you don't you think of strength as being something that you do that you Leap forge over a ahead, tall building, yes, and, and it, there's like an action, but contentment, um, you know, uh, dwelling on those are things that happen in the heart and in the mind. Mm -hmm. But that's where the strength is. It's so right. cool when you think about like our inner strength, our inner man is strengthened day by day, renewed day by day by the washing of the water, the word. The Bible tells us that that's how we're going to be renewed. And then you see here that the strengthening comes through Jesus, and that strength man of strength manifests. And contentment right right and this is so this is uh the victorious christian yes, life true right yes is some, again when we talk about those kinds of things we we think of you know maybe big grand things mm -hmm. that we're doing for god but being content mm -hmm. in all circumstances that's walking in victory that's you know, right that's the, victorious that's the christian strength life. of the christian life yeah the victory you're right and yeah. that's what sets us apart as God's people, that we are governed by God. We are not governed by the flesh. Right. This is what that looks like, and this is how to get there. We don't have to figure out how to get there on our own, but he tells us, here's how you have strength in the Lord. Yeah, right, right. And so... Cool. Uh, we got you, this. We, we have can to, do this. <laughs> we have to <laughs> we learn, look at Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we have to learn contentment. Yes. We have to lean upon Jesus uh, because it's... Uh, we do all things through mm -hmm. Christ. He's the one who strengthens us. He's the one who enables us to yeah. be content in every circumstance, yep. including the circumstance we're in currently. Yes. All right. Thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. And we love you. We miss you. Uh, we hope to be back together with you soon. Uh, but keep pressing into Jesus. Yep. Keep seeking him. Keep depending upon him for your strength. We love you guys. Love you.